there, time machine travelers. This is one of my favorite all-time activities. Basically, it's an activity using Google to analyze paintings from the Dark Ages and how they looked versus how they looked during the Renaissance. So remember, the Renaissance is like this reawakening, this new time of really rich, wealthy merchants ordering and, um, uh, what's the word for it? Oh my goodness ordering and oh what's the word for it it's a time where merchants commissioned art that means that they basically had so much money that they were able to use it towards paying artists in order to paint certain paintings for them and uh, one of the things that they liked to do was have the artist paint them inside the painting, which was really interesting as well. So what I want you to do is pull up this document. It is on Google Classroom for you. It is also in the link to this video, just in case. Just in case you're outside of my classroom and you would like to do this activity because it's super awesome. And then you're gonna go to this link on Google Cultural Institute. And then you're gonna go to this link on Google Cultural Institute. Once you pull it up, it says Dark Ages versus Renaissance art, and if you scroll down, you'll see several pieces of art. Underneath the art is a description, so like this one is a Dark Ages illumination. One thing that we haven't covered yet is an illumination was done by monks, and basically they're illuminating the document. Do you see all this gold leaf here? That's what illumination basically means. They're making it more interesting because at the time, this would have been before printing presses, they were really just doing it by hand. Everything was by hand and so it was kind of boring and they tried to make it a little bit less boring by illuminating it. All right, so what I want you to do is click on the painting and then you are able to magnify it. What Google has done is taken several pictures of these documents with very high resin cameras and it's just amazing how close you can get to these um, manuscripts and paintings. And it's just amazing how close you can get to these paintings and manuscripts. <clears throat> And it's just amazing how close you can get to these paintings and illuminations. So as you zoom up on here, you see several different things going on. We have a lot of um, religious symbolism here. That's Mary and Jesus. You know it's Mary and Jesus because of this behind their heads. That designates that they're holy. All right. And then I thought this was kind of interesting too. Look at this like dog devil creature kind of just interesting. And then you can see right here, this is called gold leaf, and it's basically gold pressed into the paper. So what I want you to do as you're looking at these, you're going to answer these questions. So question number one is analyze the first four pieces of art from the dark ages. Zoom in on the details. Take your time to really do this because it's really interesting what you'll see in these paintings. So after you've zoomed in on this, then you're going to go to the next one. Let's see. Go, I don't know why it's not letting me go back. Of course it's not letting me go back. Because why would it? Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, so then you're going to go and continue through to look at these different illuminations from the Dark Ages. So the first four are from the Dark Ages and it says that right down here. And then this one is an early Renaissance painting and then you're going to get into other Renaissance paintings. Okay, it looks like they took that one off. Hopefully all the other ones are here. Yes, these are all Renaissance paintings. So make sure that you're really taking the time to look at these. The description underneath will tell you a little bit about where it came from and what the painting is and the story behind it. This one is a Dark Ages one, and this is a Renaissance. So you're gonna be comparing those in your questions, and you're just gonna be going through here to the very end. All right, so that's what I want you to do in this activity. Take your time, really look at these, and uh, pay attention to the details, especially in the Renaissance paintings. The details are just super amazing. Once again, to get to those details, all you have to do is click on it, 
and then you will zoom up. You're gonna press this little zoom button and zoom into your painting. All right, and that is it for this activity. Enjoy and do the best that you can do. Um, and that is it for this activity. Please enjoy, take your time, look at these paintings. I think it's pretty cool how this website is set up. So, um, and that is it for this activity. And that is it for this activity. So uh, please take your time on it and make sure you're zooming up and paying attention to the details. See you next time. All right, see you next time. See you next time.